Hi, I'm Maven. I'm a former WWE wrestler, and today I'm going to be answering some of the most Googled WWE questions. Okay, all right, here we go. Do WWE wrestlers get hurt? Of course we get hurt. Wrestling might be predetermined, it might be fake. Ain't nothing fake about gravity. <laughs> when you fall, you fall. Now, when I think of my own personal injury history, while I was in WWE, I had several surgeries. I had, I broke my leg about a year into my career wrestling Christian live on SmackDown, finished the match. Thank you to Christian because he carried me through it. I broke my elbow in a match with Matt Hardy. I think at last count I have separated my right shoulder in about 25 times. Um, I've broken fingers, I've broken elbows, I've, I literally have chunks of bone as we speak floating around my elbow and it locks it up from time to time. I, I don't even want to begin to know how many concussions I've had. Do WWE wrestlers use steroids. I can only speak for, for myself. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ever put anyone else's business out on the street. Did I use steroids? I absolutely did. Do WWE wrestlers wear cups? <laughs> nah, I want absolutely nothing. And I mean nothing between my boys and the and the mat. Yeah, I can't think of anything more painful than than landing on a flat on a on a face bump and having a cup down there. Ugh. But to summarize, I did not wear a cup. I never saw anyone putting a cup on backstage. But then again, I wasn't really paying attention and watching other, other guys dress or get undressed back there. So maybe they did, I didn't. Do WWE wrestlers actually fight in any business that you are in? There's gonna be people you just don't like. I never really saw other wrestlers taking liberties, and by liberties I mean taking advantage of um, guys when they're out in the ring. Do fights happen backstage? Of course they do. If you have a problem with someone, the place to take care of it isn't out in the ring, but it might be in the locker room. I saw a couple instances backstage, and to be honest with you, they're not hard to find. Do WWE wrestlers rehearse? Yes, but only on televised shows. We rehearse strictly to make sure we get our time cues right. The referee is getting through his IFB how much time we have. And trust me, corporations pay a ton of money to the WWE to make sure that once that one, two, three uh, pinfall happens, that immediately you, the viewing public, can see an advertisement for Chili's. Do WWE wrestlers get to keep their belts? Keep the belts forever? No. When I was the hardcore champion, I did take the belt home with me. I got to keep it 24 seven. It's not like they confiscated it and said it'll be at the next show. No, the belt went home with me. I still remember friends and family taking pictures of it. <laughs> I almost got in trouble the first time. I took it out to show all my buddies because I mean, at, this, at that given moment, I was the only hardcore champion. I thought that was pretty cool. So I took it out to a bar that night. I was parked in a spot I probably shouldn't have been because I thought, you know, I was great. And my car got towed. And I had a flight the next morning to go out and defend the hardcore championship. Not having that belt on the flight for that show was not an option. I had to wake up the, uh, the lot owner. I had to pay him $500 to get my car out of the lot. And... I made my flight. My wallet was a little uh, a little thinner, but I learned a valuable lesson that night. Do WWE wrestlers get paid weekly? Great question. Um, we actually do. I actually got a physical hard copy check mailed to my house every week. My routine every Tuesday was I would land from my flight um, from Raw the night before. All of my mail would be sitting on my on my uh, in my kitchen peninsula. I would gather up every my check and I would gather up all my bills. I would actually. <laughs> I still can't believe I did this. I would actually physically drive around and I would <laughs> deposit my check in Bank of America and then I would physically drive around and pay my bills. <laughs> Do WWE wrestlers 
make a lot of money. It's all subjective. Um, at the time, I was coming off of a, a job as a school teacher. At the end of every month, I remember having around $300 to play with. Point being, did <laughs> was my first contract in WWE a lot of money at the time for me? You bet your butt it was. And that was only a $50,000 contract. Obviously, once I went to pay sheets, it seemed like all the money in the world. Do WWE wrestlers get paid when injured? The quick answer to that question is absolutely. When I broke my elbow, it was the first night of a loop. I was wrestling uh, Matt Hardy. I came off the rope for a high cross body and Matt ducked under, which he was supposed to do. And I just landed wrong and exploded the bone in my elbow. I immediately, the next day, was flown home and sent to an orthopedic surgeon who then told me I would have to be, I would have to get surgery. I didn't have to tell the WWE at the time to go ahead and take me off pay sheets and put me on my downside. They automatically did it. They knew I was, you know, I wasn't coming back for several months. If I would have stayed on pay sheets, no check would have came that entire time I was home. And for the last questions in, do WWE wrestlers get benefits? Great question. And the answer to that is no. Once again, we're independent contractors. An independent contractor does not have a 401k if they don't set it up themselves. An independent contractor does not have profit sharing. Our health insurance was consistent on if you got injured in the ring. If I was to get injured outside the ring, I don't know if they would have taken care of it. Okay, that's the do WWE wrestlers. On to the next one. Okay, why do WWE wrestlers wear underwear? If you need to ask that question, I got nothing for you. <laughs> There's a sense of security that you need when we're jumping around, flying through the air. The last thing you want is <sighs> rattling around of the undercarriage. I would always wear a thong and <laughs> why would I wear a thong? Because I wanted as little amount of material go underneath my trunks because my trunks were not big at the time. Everybody's still gonna wear something underneath that uniform, that outfit, just for security. Next question, why do WWE wrestlers wipe their feet? Okay, great question. If you ever, ever watched William Regal get into a wrestling ring, he climbs up the steps, he's standing still outside the ring. He's gonna wipe his feet both back and forth. Why do guys do this? Respect. Respect for the wrestling ring they're getting into, respect for the business, and respect for the other competitors. The wrestling ring, it's a canvas material. Now, this canvas, it's, a, it's kind of a, a thick material. It's going to hold on to anything that's on the bottom of your boots or shoes. We might be getting slammed, we might be falling, we might be rolling over with our face directly on the canvas. So, so in essence, why do WWE wrestlers wipe their feet? One, respect. And two, for protection. Why do WWE wrestlers shave their armpits? This is actually very funny. I shaved my armpits this morning. I do it for simple cleanliness. Most guys do it just for that smooth look, for appearance sake. For other guys out there that don't shave their armpits, is there something wrong with it? No. Prince Albert, he was definitely a, one of those guys and it feels like literally you're, you know, you're getting locked up to a wet carpet. <laughs> Why do WWE wrestlers have long hair? <laughs> Well, obviously because it works. Things go in cycles and for the longest time, um, long hair was just the trend. It looked good. Also, guys might have long hair so they can call spots. By calling spots, just talking during the match on what's next. Guy might have someone in a, in a rear naked chin lock and he might lean down, let his hair drape over him and tell him what's coming up next. But mostly, guys had it for the aesthetics of it, for the look. Why do WWE wrestlers have wet hair? Just looks better. Every match I was ever in, you'll see guys right before their music hits, before they're getting ready to go out, and they're dumping almost an entire bottle of water. And then during the match, if somebody goes and throws a punch and they boom, react to it, that quick reaction right there, you're gonna see water droplets come off. And we all wanna say, whoa, did he catch him with that punch? 
Sure look like it, water droplets flying off might help with just that. Why do WWE wrestlers chew gum? Chewing gum during a match never even crossed my mind. The last thing on earth I want to do is go and hit the ropes and, you know, take a bump and then find gum in the back of, of my throat. One reason I could, I could think about, again, just like the hair, the look of it. Maybe, you know, they take a punch, take a really big, a big kick. And when, when they snap their head back, they're able to spit that gum out. To people that did it, I, they, they have more confidence in their, in their chewing ability than I definitely do. <laughs> Why do WWE wrestlers wear boots? We're putting on the impression that we're modern day gladiators out there. And you know, gladiators have to have footwear. I still remember my very first pair of wrestling boots. It was after Tough Enough. I'm backstage and I had ordered wrestling boots. They had not come in yet. The guy that came to the rescue that gave me my first pair of boots Triple H. He said, Maeve, come with me. And we went over to his crate. He had his own crate with all of his gimmicks, his jackets, his DX shirts. And he had a brand new pair of wrestling boots. He gifted them to me. Hunter, thank you for those boots. Why do WWE wrestlers, oh, this one's long. Let's see what this one is. Change their names. We all have to have a gimmick, and that's the one thing I remember as a kid, you know, dreaming about becoming a wrestler. I used to sit and think, what was my name gonna be? And actually, after Tough Enough, I, I actually went to, uh, to Johnny Ace and told him, I wanna change my name. In my mind, I wanted to yeah, maybe change my name to like Bishop or something. Johnny quickly shot me down and told me, well, the whole world knows you as, uh, let me do it in Johnny's voice, Maven. The whole world knows you as Maven from Tough Enough. That's your name. Most guys change their name just to get their gimmick over, just to have something that they can market themselves. That's why guys change their name. Why do WWE wrestlers bleed? We don't say we're gonna bleed, we say we're gonna get color. I still remember seeing Austin leaned over and that 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 shot of him and he's ah he's 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 straining and the blood's dripping down his face and it's actually going into his mouth and in between his teeth. That's an iconic image. That's an iconic picture. And whenever you can add props to bolster your realism, you're going to do that. In essence, bleeding, getting color it's another prop. Why do WWE wrestlers die so young? Wow, we, uh, we went there. There's just certain things that the human body is not meant to do. The human body is not meant to fall down over and over and over again every night, much less every week. During my run, I was, I was active with, you know, with, with obviously with painkillers. I was active with, with uh, performance enhancers. And you know, you, those don't prolong your life. Those don't help your life. Wrestlers don't have off seasons. Wrestlers are on the road 365 days out of the year. You wanna try to do anything you can to find some relief. All right, perfect, there we go. When do WWE wrestlers practice their matches? We all have to be at the ring on TV days at one o'clock. Now the show goes live at eight. Went live at nine in my time, but what are we doing from that time from one till the show goes live? Well, a lot of guys are practicing their matches. That's a good time to practice. When do WWE wrestlers find out who wins? When you arrive at the arena at one o'clock in the afternoon, you go to catering. Now, when you go to catering, you're starting to get a buzz. Some of the times the production meeting isn't even completed yet. Guys find out who wins after the production meeting, after catering, and then they would put out what's called a run sheet. This sheet would actually show who was going to wrestle, what order in the card you were going to wrestle, who your agent or producer was of the match, the amount of time for that match. So you might have Maven versus Stevie Richards, six minutes. And then it might say on the side, Arn Anderson. Then we would go up and Stevie and I would get together. We would go, we would find Arn. And at that moment right there, Arn will tell us who's going over. When do WWE wrestlers retire? <laughs> Guys might leave and then come back five years down the road when they see another run in them. When a guy retires is when A, he can no longer draw money. 
and B, when the no company is willing to pay him anymore. When do wrestlers get paid? I got paid every Tuesday. Some guys would take what's called a draw. Now, what's a draw? A draw is hard currency, cash at the show. When I was there, our draw amount that we could take every show was $200. And I know some of the old timers, they religiously took their draw. They said, if someone's willing to hand you money, you take it right then and right there. Unfortunately, if you took your draw, that's just money that they took out of your check for the following week. When do WWE wrestlers go home? I thought I was on the road a lot. And then I saw, you know, John Cena. John Cena, I think, was on the road for, shoot, almost nine months. I, I might be off or whatever, but for several months. Unfortunately, the more popular you are, probably the less you see of your house. Are WWE wrestlers actors? Would I consider myself an actor? The answer is yes. I mean, when guys go out there and they're cutting a promo and they're talking about how you know, they're gonna see somebody at the next pay-per-view and stuff. It's, it's all, it's all acting. I mean, are we Meryl Street? Nah. Next, are WWE wrestlers athletes? You bet your sweet, yes. In order to do what we do, you have to have some sort of athleticism. Now, like everything, you know, you have your good athletes, you have your you know, not so great athletes, but wrestlers as a whole are indeed athletes. Are WWE wrestlers employees? Technically, no. Like I've said before, 1099s, the independent contractors. But were we allowed to work anywhere else? Nope. Were we allowed to take a job from someone else? No, we were not. Were we allowed to do an interview that the WWE didn't approve? We were not. While I technically wasn't an employee, did I consider myself an employee? You bet I did. Are WWE wrestlers part of SAG? No. Nah. Do I assume Batista, Cena, Rock, Austin, do I assume they're part, they're a part of the union? Of course they are. Your regular wrestlers, are we a part of SAG? Absolutely not. Are WWE wrestlers on steroids? See the do WWE wrestlers section. Are WWE wrestlers friends in real life? Do you like everyone you work with? Probably not. Same in our business. There's guys and girls that rub you the wrong way. Are WWE wrestlers drug tested? We definitely were. It wasn't often. After the wellness policy happened, I know they started testing guys more and more. Do I think it's a good, a good deal? You bet I do. This one's long. Are WWE wrestlers allowed to use steroids? <laughs> okay. Um, I would say see the other sections other than one word. One word in here changes this whole sentence up and that's the word right there, allowed. Allowed, no. But in my day, uh, did maybe they look the other way? I, I believe they did. Yeah, people are really curious about steroids. Are WWE wrestlers allowed to smoke weed? I don't believe they were ever allowed to do it back in my day. They might have looked the other way. They probably viewed it as it's not, you know, as long as it's not affecting them in ring, as long as it's not keeping them from getting to the to their arena on time, it's not a big deal. Personally, I never saw anybody smoking during my time, but I worked with, with, with RVD. Do I think he wasn't smoking? Of course he was. Yeah, definitely. I think he'd be the first to tell you. Are WWE wrestlers rich? <laughs> Do I believe I was rich as a WWE wrestler? I knew I was making more money than a lot of people were making, but then again, I also knew that there were guys making so much more than I was making. And also, I feel like I was rich just for the fact that I was able to have the experiences that the WWE gave me. <sighs> Next, how do WWE wrestlers not get hurt? Trust and practice. And if you're out there and you're training to be in this business, trust the person you're working with and make sure that you have drilled and got so much practice that everything you're gonna do is already second nature. How do WWE wrestlers get paid? See the win section earlier in this video. How do WWE wrestlers 
bleed. It's called a gig. What's a gig? A gig is a tiny little razor blade. A lot of times guys would tape it up and they would put it in their hand. I would always tape it up and put it in my wrist tape. And then that way I could take one piece of tape off, grab it. We would take the gig out, you take it, you hit your head, and then twist. It's gonna open up your blood capillaries, they're gonna pour out. A lot of guys, if they know they're gonna get color for that night, they might take like a baby aspirin or something. Why? Because it thins your blood. The minute you gig, you're gonna bleed more. <laughs> I was allergic to aspirin, so my very first match that I had to get color was Taker, un, you know, Undertaker, Royal Rumble. I told Taker backstage, hey man, I'm allergic to aspirin, I'm not going to be able to bleed that much. That's when he had the bright idea of, let's take a couple, uh, couple shooters. And me being a Jack fan, him being a Jack fan, I was okay with that. <laughs> How do WWE wrestlers travel? I would always take a flight, obviously, living in Virginia, but then having to get to Oklahoma. I wasn't gonna drive to Oklahoma. So they would fly me to wherever the, the closest airport was for the first show. But how are we getting to that second show? Well, we're renting a car. And a lot of times guys would rent the most economical car possible. They would pile four, four guys into it. We'll fly to one town, drive to all the rest. How do WWE wrestlers do steroids? No. <laughs> How do WWE wrestlers win? I'm assuming you're talking about the match and not just win in life in general. Most people are gonna be familiar with is a one, two, three pinfall victory right in the center of a ring. How do WWE wrestlers know when to end the match? For the most part, it's gonna be when the ref tells you, but some guys, they just know how to feel it. They have that internal clock in their head that they're counting down the whole time. How do WWE wrestlers remember their moves? My encouraging you know, th word that I give to all new wrestlers is get to the point to where you, you learn to do, to be able to wrestle and put a match together where you're not having to remember everything. Because trust me, when you wrestle a match that way, and I've done it so many times, it's just, it's so much. It's so hard to remember, and you're backstage, and you're going over everything, and you get terrified that you're gonna forget. So that's why I encourage guys, learn how to work in the, you know, in the ring with the guy. How do WWE wrestlers hide their junk? In the garage. <laughs> uh, you get a good pair of trunks. Yeah, sometimes you're on display. What you see is what you get. How do WWE wrestlers punch? Great, great question. When I first got on the road and I started wrestling house shows, I threw a punch in a match, and I think I threw it against Bill DeMott. And um, Bill didn't complain about it because I didn't hit him, but backstage, the agent at the time told me not to punch anymore until I learned how to do it. I remember I was driving from, it was one, one week that I was on the road by myself. I had my own rental car. The whole trip, I would practice my punches on the steering wheel. My goal was to hit the steering wheel without without honking the horn. But if I didn't feel the steering wheel, then I wasn't doing it good enough, you know, well enough. How do WWE wrestlers train? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm assuming you mean wrestling training. If you're trying to turn you know, a love into a career, find the best people, the best places to train and just put, put everything into it. Don't only work on trying to get good at your offensive moves. Work with other people because while they're working on their offensive moves, selling's half the business. How do WWE wrestlers in the book? Where do WWE wrestlers live? You can live anywhere. Anywhere that you have access to air travel because they would always fly us all in from the on the same day. It did benefit guys to live on the East Coast. Well, why is that? Most of the shows we did were on the East Coast and with the time difference. Guys that were on the West Coast were leaving at god awful times in the morning on the day of a show. I mean, they might be leaving their house you know, at 3 a.m. Most guys lived on the East Coast, but you could live anywhere. Where do WWE wrestlers train? My, obviously, tough enough, we trained at tracks 
And then once I left tracks and once Tough Enough was over, I trained at HWA, Heartland Wrestling Association, under the tutelage of Les Thatcher in Cincinnati, Ohio. Where do WWE wrestlers buy their gear? Once I got on the road, and I started you know, getting gear on a more regular basis. We had a guy actually at the show who, he was you know, probably making a decent living because he would make my gear and he would make countless of the other guys and girls gear on the show and he was extremely talented. Guys have different places to get their gear. I got lucky when, I, when it comes to having easy money and then having someone right there on the live shows. Did the WWE pay for our gear? They did not. But could you make money off of your gear? Absolutely, you could. Why do you WWE wrestlers work out? On the road, we work out wherever, wherever we can. You know, gyms would, most of the times and in most cities, I would say 90% of the cities we would go to, gyms knew we were coming. Guys would go in there and, and we had a good relationship with most of the gyms. We would throw them tickets on the side. They would come to the show and a lot of them, they just wanted to have wrestlers in there. I mean, who's, who's gonna have a gym and not want Roman Reigns to come in? And whenever we would go someplace and these people were, you know, we're steadfast with, you're, you can work out here, but we're charging you. No problem. My hand always went to the back of my wallet. I did not want to cause a scene, and I was not going to big league or big time anybody. I have no problem. I'll pay the 10, 20 bucks, whatever it costs for a day pass. Where do WWE wrestlers stay? For the most part, when I was, when I was traveling, I traveled with three different people. When I first broke into the business, I traveled with, with Al Snow for, you know, for a little while. Al and I, we were more in the in the Red Roof Inn, you know, Holiday Inn, you know, type of more economical. Then I rode with Devon. Devon always wanted to you know, save a little bit of money, but he, Devon also wanted to he wanted to be comfortable. After Devon, then I started riding with Randy Orton. We, me, and Randy both had the same philosophy, and that was we will pay a little bit extra for comfort. Side note story: Some guys room together because obviously if you're getting one room, you're cutting your hotel bill for the week in half. I tried it one night. I ended up having to you know, split a room with uh, Umaga, Eki, and with Rosie from Three Minute Warning. I learned very quickly, and this was the only night, I learned you do not, and I repeat, you do not room with Samoans. They literally were the loudest snores I had ever heard in my entire life. I thought they were yelling. I took a pillow and I went down and I put a, I, I put a pillow on a pool chair and I laid back and I tried to sleep on a pool chair. They were snoring that loud. Where do WWE wrestlers stay in London? And the WWE is really good at having everything planned out. And I mean, we would arrive at an overseas location and it was almost like clockwork. We'd get off the bus and they would be handing us our room so we didn't have to individually check in. So they make it to where it's very seamless. You get off, grab your bags and go immediately up to your room because they've taken care of all that in advance. Now, now a lot of the topics I covered in this video, I go more in depth in others. To see those videos, click this playlist.